Hello, and welcome back to Satisfactory Outpost in the Desert. We're picking up right where we left off. Uh, we've automated our production of aluminum ingots, and now we need to turn these ingots into alclad aluminum sheets. Let's take a look at that recipe. eight aluminum ingots and three copper ingots combined into four alclad aluminum sheets. And that's sort of 30 per minute, so that's 7.5 cycles per minute. So eight times 7.5, what is that? 60, that's what I thought. 60, um, we need, or we're gonna consume 60 aluminum ingots per assembler. And we're producing, what are we producing here? We've got 10 smelters. Why are we out of, um, what's going on here? This belt is empty of copper scrap. Let's go see what's up. It's probably, I don't know what's up really. Which belt is that? Top belt. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Okay, this one is red. Why is that red? Oh, that's that was my placement. So this is yellow. Full of water. Okay, so we're full of water. That's the problem. Doesn't make a lot of sense because we should be consuming that water. Maybe if we put a pump here? Or alternatively, we could... Um, could run these pipes over. Hmm. So because it's full of water, it's not producing aluminum scrap. But the issue is that the water should all be consumed by these foundries. Unless I've I've made a Math, a math day, I'm mistaken. I don't think that I did. Okay. They're all connected. They all have water. You know what, let's just try um, flushing the network and seeing if that issue doesn't resolve itself. If needed, we could maybe add a, add a pump going here. We can just go ahead and do that right now if we've got the... Yeah, let's just put a pump here. Or I guess closer would be fine, would be better. Right here. Just so we're sure that all of the um, water is flowing away from these second stage refineries towards the first stage. Okay, so where were we? Each assembler is going to require 60 ingots per minute and we're producing 36 times 
10 is 360 plus 206 is 566 so that's hmm. that's 9 right 566 divided by 60 yeah a little bit over 9 so I guess we could do 10 10 assemblers I actually thought we needed 12, but 10 is fine. We'll do 10 assemblers making alkyl aluminum sheets. Um, what's the best way? I guess we could do, we could just do 10 in a row. We've got the space. but I don't think that's ideal. I think we'll want to to output to it toward the middle. So let's just shift this merger. Over to here. Actually, we don't need to merge them at all. Yeah, this is a better solution. We'll just leave them on the sides. And then we'll merge our alkaline aluminum machine production right in the middle. How much room does that give us? We could use a little bit more room. Let's just squeeze these in. We'll have the merger in the, mid in the middle. Because we're gonna have um, we're gonna be too high. Good. Move this closer. One of these is not aligned. Actually, both of them are pretty poorly aligned. Okay, that's centered. One space out. And one space out. Good. Now we'll do four more on each side. What's our output going to be? Let's see. Wait, where? Oh, here we go. Okay, 30. So it's going to be 300. Okay, that's good. 300 per minute. I like that. We're going to... We'll, we'll need most of those for our heat sinks, but I think we'll still have more than a 100 per minute accumulating that we can use 
um, you know, just for re replacing all the belts around our network of outposts. So let's select the recipes. Could be using Mark 1 belts for this, but I think I've, I've brought enough Mark 4s, so rather than taking the time to swap, I've got a lot to do this episode. Okay. Performance is a little sluggish right now. Take that belt up. <laughs> That's my dog. I don't know if you guys heard that. And I'm going to use this system. Just to get the belts perfectly aligned. I think I'll probably have the the copper ingots coming in from the west side. So we'll flip these two around. Keep track of that. We'll need a conveyor pole here somewhere. This is actually a little too close. Halfway, I guess, or closer to halfway. This belt is coming from the other direction. Okay. Too steep. 
I swear I checked for that and it was not too steep. Man, that's that's frustrating. Okay. What we can do is um just we can run the um the copper ingots below it. Take care of, take away all this. Just be really careful when you mass deconstruct. I don't want to remove any of the assemblers. We'll just run the um, the aluminum ingots on the ground. This will work. But we'll need to um have copper ingots delivered. I'm pretty sure we already connected them to our to one of the shipping trains. So we just need to build a train station on the roof. And um, set up shipping or set up delivery. You know, I'm not sure what's going to be going on in the center, so I think we'll run the, um, the copper ingot belt on the wall here. Counting six because that's the max uh, length of a conveyor belt. Okay. And then the window placement is TBD. Let's go up to the roof and determine that now.
Okay. Missing our roof tile. Okay, so I know that this, um, the length of this outpost is 42 foundations, and I thought that we, I would try something different. Um, not sure it's going to work. We're going to try it. Uh, I want to put my shipping and receiving stations uh, together in one line. So let's... Need a little bit of space here to stand on. I'm gonna put it right on the edge. The rail centered. Oh, okay, that's it's not gonna work because <laughs> we'll just have to move our hyper tube, that's fine. Maybe we could move the transition over one. Let's see if that still connects. Okay, that will work. So this will be, I mean, it can be either shipping or receiving first, right? Doesn't really matter. We'll say that it's, um, say shipping. So this will be aluminum outgoing. And this is going to look like it's mostly going to be empty, uh, empty platforms. We've got two, three, four locomotives. Then one, two, three, four, five, six empty platforms, and one freight platform. And this will be unloading. Because the only thing that we're shipping back to the um, storage hub are the outclad aluminum sheets. Let's just double check here. One, two, three. Okay. So the seventh car will be filling outcloud aluminum machines. And now what I wanted to try was putting a second train station in line. And calling this um, aluminum incoming. We have another three empty platforms, two, three, four locomotives. Um, and then we've got the first car is empty, the second car is empty third car is empty. The fourth car will be copper sheets that are delivered. The fifth car is empty. And the sixth car will be two belts of copper ingots. Now, can we hook this up? Okay. Perfect. If it works, it's perfect. Will it work? I don't know. Uh, these will both be unloading. In fact, I may have swapped the station before. These are unloading. This is incoming. So the idea is that the, the incoming train will stop here at this train station platform, which, well, let's just hope they're not there at the same time. But 
because there's no collision for trains, it's not really a big deal. And that the outgoing train will stop all the way ahead. This is loading. This is loading Alcloud Lunar Machines. Let's um let's set our trains up and see if it works. Okay, aluminum incoming, timetable. Uh oh, we've got a problem here. We'll need to address this. Let's set up our timetable first, then we can go back and look at it. Uh, shipping B is actually going to be coming to aluminum. Aluminum incoming. There we go. Which trains are shipping A and shipping C? Okay. We'll take a look at that when we're back at the storage hub. And then aluminum outgoing. This is actually uh, going to be receiving C. We'll be coming to aluminum outgoing. Okay. Not sure what happened to the trains. Possibly something was uh, screwed up when I was laying the rails down. I wonder if I can just um, do one of these. Nope, we're gonna have to run out there in person, I guess. Okay, well, that's annoying. But hopefully we'll have our um, copper ingots delivered. Let's go ahead and set up the outputs here. Not crazy about how this looks. I mean, ideally you'd have at least one empty platform between the two, but there's just no room. So this will be copper sheets. That's going to be used uh, for heat sinks. And then uh, this will be the Copper and guts. Not a lot of room here. Oh, need to get some concrete. Okay, so this is the outgoing train that will be picking up the alcohol aluminum sheets once they're ready. should just stop briefly and then head back. Do I have some more concrete? Okay, good. We could use some more iron plates as well. And some more belts.
You know, I was wondering why our power consumption was so low, and now it seems like it could be because <laughs> uh, two of our trains have not been delivering. And so all of the machines that are dependent on those supplies have just gone dormant. Top held his copper sheets. Okay, this should be our supply of, of copper and guts now. Yeah, rather than run back. Just do this. Okay, I want to do I want to do two windows because I need to split uh, the copper ingots two ways. It's not a great way to do that. Maybe I can attach a splitter right to the wall. Sometimes you can do it. Okay, great. We've got copper ingots on the left. Copper sheets on the right. Oh, missed out. Looks like I can. Okay, well that's that's not helpful. <laughs> okay. I'll have to do one of these. Splitter here. That'll work. Um, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. good. Man, it gets dark in here. So we should be making copper ingots. We need to power this up. I mean, not copper ingots, uh, alkali aluminum sheets. Let's see if this is going to reach on that quick wire. Okay. 
All right. Oh, aluminum sheets. Mark five belts. That's exciting. And we'll get this side ready. Power pole. just the copper belts. Everything in Satisfactory takes about three times longer than you expect it to. That's what I've learned while filming this series or recording it. Okay. So the next step is um, heat sinks, but we don't have the recipe for heat sinks. We have to go back to the storage hub and unlock them. That's part of advanced aluminum uh, production. So I'm just going to collect all of these alkaline aluminum sheets. Oh, 
guess that's all we've got. Hopefully that's enough. What are we looking at here? One, two, three, four, five, okay. I think that's good. I think I only need 500 to unlock everything. But if I can get to 600, that'd be even better. Okay, great. Now, back to the storage depot. We'll also take a look at those trains, see what's going on while we're there. I'm not proud of this hypertube. So we got an auto save picture. There's definitely uh, some improvements that need to be made. I just made it uh, in real hurry just to uh, have a hypertube up between the storage depot and the aluminum, or the site of the future aluminum outpost. Just because it's so far away, I wanted a, a tube up to start, uh, you know, ferrying materials out there. But we're nearly done with the aluminum outpost. We have two more things that we need to produce, and that is um, heat sinks, which is just uh, combining alkali aluminum sheets with copper sheets. That's a heat sink using an alternate recipe. And then um, radio control units, which I want to say is heat sinks crystals, and I'm not sure what the third ingredient is. Um, we haven't unlocked it yet. We have to unlock that in the BAM. So let's hit the MAM first. Radio control units. We need a hundred uh, oscillators. Let's see. Okay, they should be over here. Uh, if we don't have a hundred oscillators, that's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be discouraging. Let's check the next floor. Okay, well, none of the shipping trains are here, so wherever the issue is... Okay, we have oscillators, good. Wherever the issue is... Uh, we'll have to track them down. Okay, 100 oscillators. seconds. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Let's unlock heat sinks. Milestone reached. Okay, that was aluminum parts can now be produced which are necessary to build the minor mark three. Batteries can be used as a fuel source. The Mark III miner, the turbo motor, 
batteries and heat sinks. And now we need to start feeding hard drives to the MAM again. Because we want an alternate recipe for radio control units that does not require rubber. Actually, we want an alternate recipe for heat sinks too that doesn't require rubber, so we may be done for this episode because it's 10 minutes to unlock an alternate recipe. In the meantime, let's track down those trains. It was shipping A and C, I believe, right? Let's go up to a train station and take a peek. A and C. Okay. Okay, shipping C is at the motor outpost. Is shipping A. Is it possible they're both at the motor outpost? don't see shipping A on the map. Let's go take a look at the motor outpost. Maybe they're both there. This might make sense because I, I did, um, change a few of the rails near the motor outpost. Okay, this is shipping C. What's the issue? It looks good to me. Unless something was deleted at a later point. Or there's like a, it looks like the tracks are connected, but maybe maybe they're not. Whoa, whoa. What was that? Did you see? You see the ghost trains? They just like appeared and, and disappeared? Freaky. Okay, let's try turning autopilot off and uh, running the train manually. If there's if it's just a problem with the tracks, that'll That'll show us.
Okay, so shipping A is here too. Yep, okay, found it. There's a problem with this track. Even though it looks like it's fine, it's clearly not fine. back on. Okay. Yep, that fixed it. There goes shipping C. up with that switch the train that was on the upper rail it did it again whenever it reaches this point the lower half of the train uh, switches to the the lower track I mean the rear half of the, the train switches from the upper track to the lower track it just phases I'll have to submit a uh, bug report for that for sure Three minutes. Okay. I don't want to wait. Let's head back to the um, bauxite aluminum outpost. There is something we can do. Actually, let's turn around. I want to make sure that I've got the materials on me. We're going to need uh, to set up one more train station. This is the train station that will. Um, be exporting the, the plastic we're making. It's also going to be delivering crystals from our quartz outpost. And it's going to be uh, exporting the radio control units directly to the motor factory. So it's going to be freight platform, freight platform, empty, empty, free platform. Okay, so we need some cable, we need some heavy frames. Probably been almost three minutes, right? We can wait the one minute. <sighs> so I guess next episode we'll be automating. Oh, man, we didn't get much on this episode at all. Uh, next episode we'll be automating heat sinks and um, radio control units, that'll be super quick. And then we'll also be heading back to the motor factory to set up turbo motors. And then, you know, this factory is is basically set. It's just going to be a matter of upgrading motors to, or miners to Mark III miners and uh, all of the belts, Mark V belts, that'll be a, that'll be a process. And one more thing that I do, I, I really want to do, even though it's like a daunting, huge time sink, is um, farming just a ton of flowers, converting them into paint, and color coding each of the outposts. 
uh, the same color that uh, is shown on their hypertubes. Okay, so we're going to need all three of these unlocked, but the first step is the heat exchanger, the alternate uh, recipe for the heat sink. So let's start the next hard drive. And head back to the aluminum outpost. There's definitely a, like a priority list for upgrades. Um, obviously, the first thing that gets marked five belts is like everything directly in the aluminum outpost to like the the crop the the aluminum scrap lines. You know, each of those is outputting at 720, and right now the belts can only handle 480. So upgrading those will quickly boost our you know, our throughput of or the throughput of goods required for alkali aluminum sheets, which means we can make the belts that much faster. And then after that, it's definitely copper sheets. Copper sheets, uh, we're way behind on like what we need. We were behind before this, like before we added another, um, you know, production line that requires copper sheets. So I think between this episode and the next, I'll um, upgrade those belts, and I'll probably even convert uh, one, like like half of our copper wire, a third or, or half of the copper wire um, constructors over to copper sheets, just because we need we need a lot more copper sheets. This is you know my first playthrough in Update Three, and you know copper sheets weren't a thing before Update Three, so I just wasn't sure how many we would need, but now, like, you you need more copper sheets than copper wire. In update 2 you needed a ton of copper wire, and now it's copper sheets. We've actually got, like, four belts of copper wire being delivered to the storage shop, and I think, I don't think we're even using all one, so... Crazy. Okay. Let's go back to the roof. And set up the strain. So this clearly the system works. It doesn't look great. I wish we had more space. But uh it's good to know that it works. So this is the little like ledge that I built out and this is where we're going to have our our second train. Probably right here, I guess. Yeah, right here. It doesn't really matter where we start it. We could try to center it. Let's see, it's station, empty, 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 freight platform, freight platform, empty, empty, freight, that's 9, so 18 total, and let's see, we've got 42 platforms, 42 minus 18 is 24, so we've got 12 on each side to center it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we want our train station right here. Empty, empty, empty. This will be an interesting train station because it's both receiving and shipping. So, freight platform. This will be where plastic's being sent. So, it's loading plastic. The next freight platform is crystals being received from 
the quartz outpost. This is unloading. And then we need two empty platforms. And we need two empty platforms because um, this this uh, this train will also be visiting the electronics incoming train station over in the electronics outpost. And plastic is the the first um, you know it's the first station at the electronics incoming so it has to be the first station here the second is an empty platform there so we can have our crystals that's not a problem the third and fourth cars are used at the electronics incoming but the fifth is not and so we'll have our fifth here and this is where we will export our radio control units to the motor factory, so this will be loading. That's cool. We just need to extend this railway. Pretty sure I connected it to the main. So we just want to um, branch off of, off of this. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Actually, we should take this to the edge. One, two, three, four, five foundations, six, looks like seven, maybe eight? Yeah, eight. One, two, three, four, maybe nine, man. Yep. Okay. This looks like six, okay. So we've got a six foundation turn there. This is Right here. We'll try that. Put a pillar top. Oh, whoops. Pillar top there. I don't know what we should name the station. Maybe like, um, aluminum supplemental. Let's see. The, f the route I had planned for this is going to be starting at the quartz outpost, delivering the crystal to aluminum, 
from aluminum, it's going to go to uh, the motor outpost, where it will drop off um, the radio control units. And then from the motor outpost, it'll go to the electronics outpost, where it will drop off what little pl pl plastic we're producing here. And then it will return to the crystal outpost for more crystals. But I think that's all we've got time for. In the next episode, we will automate those heat sinks and uh, the radio control units to finish up the aluminum outpost. And then it's going to be off to the motor outpost. So thanks for watching. Uh, the series has been a, a real blast to, to put together. Um, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see everyone after the break.